Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here, thank you so much for joining me today. So I've done a few things since we left off, some of them useful and some of them probably ultimately useless. We'll start with the useful. I finished Pygmy Venom Web Spiders Slain, so we have killed 15 of those. And in the process, as predicted, we collected the gooey spider legs. So that's two quests complete. We also have a quest to turn in for the hermit we found to the north. Supplies from Darkshire. Uh, Madame Ava, she's in one of these buildings. Not in the inn, but just in one of these houses. So we'll find her as well. So technically, I guess that's three quests to turn in. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Uh, the other thing I did was I actually walked from Ashenvale down to Theramore Isle. And I'm pretty sure I could have taken a boat instead and that was in an attempt to get the next level of first aid so, and i found the trauma surgeon there uh in theramore isle after like an hour of walking through the barrens barrens are beautiful by the way after an hour of walking through the barrens and dust when i find the guy and he has nothing for me to train i need to learn to start doing my research before i devote myself to an hour-long run but the cool thing is if we ever need it, we have the Ratchet Flight Point and the Theramore Isle Flight Point uh, for Kalimdor. Gooey spider legs. Ah yes, a nice clutch of legs you have there. Let me just get these seasoned with my secret spices. Oh, I'm not going to look. And get them to skittering on a skillet for a while. Yeah, the idea of eating spider legs is so disturbing that I just can't. Light bless you. Okay, and here are the guy's crab cakes that he was, you know, the starving guy, Jitters. Uh, we found Jitters way out in Raven Hill. And we're going to be headed back to Raven Hill anyway to kill some undead to the north of the cemetery. And we're going to be heading all over the place, so no worries. Uh, this is Eva. She has supplies from Darkshire to turn in and the shadowy figure. Need help? Let's turn in the supplies first from the old man. Ah, ghost hair thread is what you need, is it? I'm afraid I have none in stock, but I can make some for you if you can supply the ghost hair. Well, we haven't killed any ghosts yet, but sure, why not? There is a poor, sad spirit, Blind Mary, who haunts an old farmhouse in the hills of South Darkshire. Here, take this spectral comb and ask Blind Mary to comb her hair. Then bring back the comb and I will glean from it the ghost hair I'll need for the thread. And take care, for dark things lurk near that house. Okay, so we gotta find Blind Mary and just ask her nicely to use the comb. Light bless you. Um, I wonder... If it's like a quest item we have to use on her, but I don't think so. Greetings. Of course, why would she just have ghost hair laying around her house, you know, unless it's haunted. And then we have shadowy figure, so from Sven's Revenge. If you have something that belongs to the shadowy figure for whom you seek, then let me see it. I may be able to divine something of its owner. Who is this Madame Eva? Is she a mage of some kind? Sorceress? I don't know. Hmm. Someone handled this book recently. Someone who is driven by revenge. But the impressions left on it, at least the impressions from the original owner, are faint. I can tell, however, that the original owner of this book is not a native of Darkshire. Here is your book back, and I bid you fortune with your search. If you ask others in town, perhaps they can offer more clues. And here is one more for you. Although the author of this book is a stranger to Darkshire, the book itself was purchased here. Farewell. Okay. So that gives us something to think about. If he's not from Darkshire, I mean, he could be from anywhere. Maybe it'll end up being a breadcrumb to somewhere else eventually, but we need to ask other people. And this is about the shadowy figure who witnessed Sven's family's slaughter. And Sven was the guy to the north, east, west, northwest of the cemetery. Hey there. Oh, okay. Now, Clerk Daltrey here has some information about the book as well. 
Sometimes I'll sell bo blank books to scholars and mages, or to anyone who wants to keep a journal. I remember well everyone to whom I sold a book within the last few months. Ah yes, I sold this book a month ago to a shady person. He didn't tell me his name, but he was nervous. Jittery chap. Always looking over his shoulder. I hope that help- Oh, it helps me, Clerk Daltry. Who else do we know who is literally- His name is literally Jitters. Is Jitters the shadowy figure who witnessed the murder of Sven's family? The writer of the journal? Here is your book, and good luck with your inquiries. You might want to expand your search to the inn. If the person whom you seek spent time in town, then chances are someone saw him there. See you later. Alright, to the inn we go. Do a little first person walk over. That ought to be cool. Except, Robert doesn't really know how to navigate <laughs> in first person in this game. If only we had arms. Hey there. Scarlet Raven doesn't see the business it used to, but we still do get travelers passing through. If you can describe the person you're looking for, maybe I'll remember him. Ah, uh, I can't. He has the jitters. That's all we really know. Oh yeah, I remember this book. Its owner rented a room for a few days and spent his nights at the bar writing. He left town in a hurry, muttering about being haunted by something. Last I saw him, he was headed west out of town, looking for a new spot to hide. The first place he'd find to the west is Raven Hill. All the pieces are coming together, guys. All the pieces are coming together. We know who this person is. For the Alliance. But it's I, you know, when we set out on this quest, I, I didn't expect that Jitters would ever be a, a character beyond giving him his biscuits. So now it seems we have to go give him his crab cakes, his spider cakes, or whatever, and also confront him about his journal. So we'll do that. Um, Eight-Legged Menace. Back to Watcher Dodds. Watcher Dodds. Uh, he could have been someone that we met along the road. Unless he's right here in town. I didn't see any other turn-ins. Watcher Dodds. We'll have to make sure we get that turned in before it, uh, goes gray. And what else can we do? So we know we're headed west. Worgen in the woods is actually in the Rotting Orchard to the south and a little bit west of Darkshire. So part of, like the efficient part of me says we do this on the way. The part of me that wants to tell a continuous narrative says we just go out to Raven Hill uh, and get it some other time. Uh, so for I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run out to uh, Raven Hill. And since you guys have seen this run, unless anything cool happens or I get murdered again by stitches, uh, we'll use some editing magic here. Well, we were right. Uh, we have Watcher Dodds here was at one of the intersections we'd passed, so we get to turn this well, in. Ah, you're back. Uh, not too much worse for wear, it seem. Of course, the Night Watch is grateful for your work, and I did promise you a reward, so here. Uh, this is a reward that we will vendor. Be careful. And he has no follow-ups, so back on the road we go. I wonder if we know who this is. If anybody knows if this is supposed to be somebody, that would be like a comment I'd love to read. Or if it's just a statue of a random Night Watch guy. Alright. Jitters, you have some explaining to do, man. But at least you won't be doing it on an empty stomach. Good day to you. Let's give him his food first, and hopefully it won't be his last meal. Okay, and now we confront him about the book. Who are you? Leave me be. Uh, we're the person who just fed you. Calm down. Yes, I'm the author of that book. You finally found me, huh? Well, if you read that journal, then you only know the half of it. The book you found was only half finished. I had to leave it at Sven's farm when I fled there. Here, take my completed journal to Sven. It describes more fully what happened at his farm. Although this journal has been my only company these past weeks, if giving it up keeps me from having to face Sven and his wrath, then I'd do it willingly. Okay, so, you know, that's good of him. See you around. I wish we could go back to the bookseller in town and maybe get him another blank book. He seems to 
I don't know why he wants to stay out here, but he said his journal was his only company, so let's check out his spacious abode here and we can read his completed journal. Right, here's the parts we haven't read. My hand trembles as I recall the details of that night when Sven was away and his family was doomed to face the Black Riders alone. Again, regret claws at me, for I was there and could have risen against those fiends from Deadwind Pass. But it is a false regret. It is the same that plagues any survivor of a tragedy. I know that. Had I left my place of hiding, I too would have been killed. My body ripped and torn and its pieces spread so widely that I would not be recognized. But, even though I know I could have done nothing to stop this heinous murder, one true regret does remain. I brought the Black Riders to Sven's farm. My discovery of the scythe not only unleashed the worgen upon Duskwood, it drew the Riders from Deadwind Pass. I know this because, just before they began their slaughter, they asked one question to Sven's wife as she held her children close, giving them what comfort she could, though she was certain death was near. The scythe of a loon, one of the riders, shrieked in a voice both harsh and shrill, like the grinding of an axe on stone, and the last word, Elune, it croaked as if choking on the sound. Dread gripped me when I heard that voice, both from the horrid sound of it and because I knew the scythe of which the re rider spoke. It must be the same cursed thing I drew from the rocks of Roland's doom days before. It was what the Black Riders sought, and it was what would kill Sven's family. I never learned the name of Sven's wife, as she was only ever called the dearest and my love and mommy by her husband and children, but I wish I knew it. I am the only living memory of her deed that day, and although she was just a farmer's wife, Never have I seen a man or woman act with such bravery. Of course, she did not know of the scythe, but when she learned, the rider sought it in an instant a plan formed in her head. And it was bold and clever, if only it had worked. The scythe? She said in a calm voice. Of course I do. Who here wouldn't? She looked at the riders with steady eyes, and I would have sworn she spoke the truth if I had not known better. There was no way she could know about the scythe. Her gambit paid off. The same rider who uttered the question before bent his head slightly toward her and shrieked, Where? I'll take you, all of you, she said, and I could see a small hope flicker behind her eyes. But the way is far, and my children would slow us. We must leave them. Her trick was simple, but simple tricks had the best hope of success. If it worked, it would lead the riders away from the farm. She would be lost, but her children would be safe, and it would work if all only the riders believed her noble lies. Although I have never been a student of the light, I prayed fiercely for Sven's wife as she stood against those terrible riders. Please, I prayed, let them believe. They stood, frozen, and she met their gazes with calm. Then one rider looked up, as if hearing a distant call. He drew from his garbs a small gem and peered into it. Then he gestured with the bauble towards Sven's wife. A light crept from the rider toward the woman, shaping itself into a grim white hand. She stared into the light, unflinching, but I could see uncertainty behind her mask of confidence. When the hand reached her, it spread its fingers over her head, and it squeezed. Sven's wife stood rigid as a board, and her eyes grew wide, and although her lips pulled back to, move a, to mouth a scream, no sound escaped. After a few moments of this torture, the hand released her, dropping her to her knees. The rider who held the bauble then sat erect in his saddle, and a loud voice erupted from it. This woman lies, it said in a voice that has scarred my dreams. She has not seen the scythe. After this, the rider's shoulders stooped slightly, as if a spirit within him had fled, and then in the old, shrieking voice it used earlier, these final words were uttered. The Lord has spoken. Kill them. I cannot describe what happened next. It's clear in my mind, but even my wretched soul cannot put to paper the events of those next few grisly minutes. I can only write that Sven's family was killed, and soon after, Sven returned to this grim, deathly scene. Such grief was in him that I was afraid to show myself, and so afraid was I that he would find me, I fled from my hiding spot in the barn. I do not know where Sven is now, but I pray he will someday find peace. I spent the next few weeks moving from place to place, never lingering for fear of the riders. I am now in the abandoned town of Ravens Hill, as always, hiding. 
I cannot face whatever power they used against Sven's wife, and I know it searches Duskwood. Even still, for the scythe, it is lost to me, and I thank the light for this. For had I kept it, I know I would have been found. Even now, I know in my heart that I will be found. I'm so tired. Whew. Poor Sven. All he did was go away for a few days. His family gets torn to pieces. Poor Jitters. Um, you know, all he did was pull a scythe from something called Roland's Doom. I mean, you know, if a place is called Roland's Doom, probably nothing good to be found in there. But, you know, all he did was take a weird scythe. And now we know why he's living out uh, all by himself. You know, he doesn't even want to face society right now. He can't. Very interesting. What really amazes me is just the, uh, the actual quality of the writing that goes into these journals and into some of the quests. It's, uh, you know, that journal especially, it's, it's just a joy to read. And I feel like, unfortunately, back in the day, I didn't experience the game that way. I did my questing efficiently. I scanned enough of the quest to get a direction on where I had to go, but I never really tried to follow the narrative being told. I played with a friend at the time, and he had taught me that the, the best way to level quickly <laughs> uh, was to simply scan the quests and do a circuit of the zone and complete them all as quickly as possible. So it's really nice to actually see some of the great writing and great storytelling that went into some of these quest chains. What can I do for you? Well, here you go, Sven. Here's the whole story. This journal explains much to me and sets me on the path against the Dark Riders. I have seen these riders in Duskwood, and have seen them speak with the wizard Morbent Fell at the Forlorn Row. Morbent Fell is a necromancer and an ally to the Dark Riders. I would pit you against the power of Morbent Fell, but I will not send you against that vile fiend without first knowing your strength. You have already proven your bravery to me. But if you truly wish to face the Necromancer, then you must now prove your skill against his minions. So, we need to kill 15 Skeletal Raiders, 3 Skeletal Healers, 3 Skeletal Warden... Warders. For the Alliance. And I'm wondering if they won't be either in the cemetery, or possibly, maybe they're in Roland's Doom. Maybe we're going to get to go into this middle area for this and find out what's going on there. That could be very interesting. Uh, for quest, we still really aren't ready to face the plague spreaders. This is at level... This is south of the town. Maybe we will head right for Roland's Doom and see, or where I believe Roland's Doom would be, and see if we could find these skeletal raiders. I, I don't think they were in the cemetery. Although... It's a possibility that I can check out on the way over there. Alright, so yeah, at least the Skeletal Raiders are just right here in the north part of the graveyard, so... Oh, I like how the, the entire atmosphere just changed here. Uh, Plague Spreader, these are the ones for the other quest, for the Night Watch. Uh, which is orange. This guy is not orange, but it leads me to believe that uh, some of them will be. I mean, even this guy's at level with us. So. And again, Rend is going to be useless. As I still hit it. Let's do something like that. This guy has a lot of defense. He's parrying our attacks. And not being able to get a bleed on him, a rend on him or a gouge, um, that kind of sucks. Fighting undead is going to be difficult for us. We just lose so many of our tools. And we don't really gain anything. If we were a paladin, we might make short work of these guys. It's interesting. It's so 
thick here with fog. And look at it change right there. I wonder if those guys are only up in this purple part. A forlorn row. I don't see many mobs at all down here. Um, ooh. See, that's interesting because... We're not going to hit that because he is orange. But it doesn't mark the quest that way. What we need to do is we need to find a couple other players who could potentially help us out. That would make this go a lot smoother and it'd be a lot more fun. Unfortunately, it's 2 in the afternoon on a Saturday, so... Oh, there's a lot of people around. Just not in this uh, exact area. God, I'm thinking about going into defense stance to deal with these guys. Now they've got poison? Slowing poison. Well, he's not gonna run. But he is beating the crap out of us. And we're just not generating enough rage to consistently heroic strike. There we go. Hey, I like that. I like that a whole bunch. We can apply Sunder to these guys. So, I think I'm going to stay in defensive stance. They don't want to seem to go down into this uh, into this crypt here, but I feel like that would actually be a good place to find mobs and uncontested. Didn't even tag this one. I don't know where our group is. Now I can't see anything. <laughs> like, literally. We're all off in different directions, but are we doing anything useful? That's the real question. No, we're not. We really should have went into that crypt back there, I feel like, if we're serious about doing this quest. Skeletal healers are over here. Hey, if we generate any rage with the Voidwalker taunting off of us, we might actually be able to do something. Need to go find my own thing to fight without the without the Warlock. Like being with the Warlock is the worst for me. Because it's just not gonna let me generate any rage. All of our people are over here attacking things. But we're not we don't have any of them tagged. I don't really know what they're doing. Um, and now I'm frozen in fear because I'm in combat with Morbid Fell. That's great. Okay, I'm going to go back down to the crypt. I don't know. This has been a pretty inefficient grouping so far. Yeah, see, now we're finding where we need to be. This is good. Now, if I can convince them to go down these stairs, you know, by running down there myself, like, right now, um, that would be even better. Let's, let's go. Come on, let's go down these stairs. I bet there's gotta be at least one or two more down here. Yeah, see, look at this. There's a whole room of them down here. This is where we need to be. It's probably my fault for not trying to communicate to them, but... We did start right here at this place. This is very cool. I like crypts like this. Like, I bet these guys just didn't think it would be this expansive under here. To be honest with you, I didn't think it would be this expansive either. I expected, like, a one or two room thing. Oh, look, now everyone's down here. Come on, guys. Let's get a move on. I'm going to take this guy. Because we can do that. Are all my guys back up top again? For real? 
No way. Um, I mean, kind of close to dropping group. I'm actually dropping group. This will work out better. This person is down here already. They clearly recognize that being down here is a good idea. I was trying to back him up a little bit, but he's not going to run, so this healer is going to pull. Now he's going to pull. Let's stop all that. Let's get him back here a little bit. Oh, he did heal himself there. What a jerk. How did we... Oh, we didn't get to tag any of these guys. Darn, that sucks. Some kind of an invisible barrier there? It's odd. Check out the laboratory. I feel like this is like strangely familiar in some way, and at the same time I feel like I've never seen it before. Maybe it was used in part of a dungeon or something? Like this exact layout? It almost looks like a classroom, right? Um, what was that? What was the cla the dungeon with the classroom in it? Skullamance? Am, th am I thinking of Skullamance? I could be thinking of absolutely nothing don't have the greatest memory. Oh, look at that. What in the hell? Um, okay, I talked about like what's worth selling and what's not. Uh, this is worth something. Thunderwood, binds when equipped. 36 to 27 nature damage, level 22. Yeah, was it worth going down here or what? I think it was. I don't know if it's like proper to roll between me and this guy since we were in a group when I looted that, but the way I look at it, there were 17 people down here that could have grabbed that at any second. And I don't know. Maybe that's like jerkish of me. Probably is. Either way, I'm gonna keep it. Well, we'll at least be grateful. What is this other underground area that I'm seeing on the mini-map? Needs all 12 raiders. Or does he have 12 raiders? Um, what the hell? I found something. I, I don't think we need to be finding this. But it's something here. And I'm gonna find out where it goes. The hell? We're in like this looks almost n like a natural formation, but it can't be because it's cl clearly connecting this other area. All right. So I mean, this place is definitely awesome. That group missed out. They totally missed out. Ah, uh, brain eater. Ooh, we don't need these guys, but I'm so interested in like what's over here. We'll just head back. I'm going to come check this out at some other point, but I'm not going to drag them along with me. We'll do it when we're like a higher level, unless we are told to go down there. Or we could just go down there to get to the plague spreaders when we go to do that quest. That would be a good idea because this place definitely needs to be fully explored. But that guy has already completed the quest for those 
the uh, plague spreaders. So let's just get our last couple and we'll get out of here. All right, let's turn this into Sven. We have proved our worth and we will see if we get the quest to kill Morbin Fell. Go to the city of Stormwind and speak with Bishop Faving in the Cathedral of Light. Give him Jitter's journal and tell him that you mean to face Morbid Fell. Although Stormwind has forsaken Darkshire, Farthing is a kind soul and very wise. He may help you on your quest to save us. Your mission is perilous, but hurry. With each passing hour, the shadows of Duskwood grow ever darker. Be careful. Alright. That's awesome. I have to go to Stormwind anyway to put on the auction house the awesome wand that we found in the chest in the crypt that was incredibly interesting and fun. Uh, there we go, Thunderwood. <laughs> we'll put Thunderwood up and you'll notice a change in my gold in the coming videos if in fact it does sell for something. If not, I'll hold on to it for a Warlock alt or a Priest alt or something like that. So, uh, we're going to have a break right here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching the video. I really appreciate the support. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more WoW videos, go ahead and click subscribe and ring the bell. It would really help me out. Until next time, take care and wish me luck.